Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Maddie Jansen, and today for Nicole Gitsky, we are watching the French fire this afternoon. It's growing rapidly west of Lake Isabella. Let's take a look at the latest headlines. This is the fire that broke out Wednesday afternoon near the corner of Waggy Flat Road and Sawmill Road. As of this morning, Kern County Fire estimated that fire had burned 4,272 acres, and it's still just 5% contained. Several structures have been burned, but we've yet to get a definite count on those. 17's Moses Small has covered this place since Wednesday, and he's joining us now from the fire lines with the latest on what he's heard from talking to residents up in that area. Moses? Maddie, good afternoon. We're looking at blackened hillsides and thick plumes of smoke turning the sky gray as the French fire shows no signs of slowing down. It's nearly doubled in size since just yesterday and now covers over 4,200 acres. And again, this all started on Wednesday afternoon when fire crews were called to the area of Sawmill and Waggy Flat Roads. And this fire started in dense woods, burning several homes to the ground and threatening many more. Firefighters from as far as San Diego were still battling the blaze using trucks on the ground and helicopters overhead. What makes this fire so difficult to control? To access and train to get the different type of equipment in there, uh, it takes several hours to walk, you know, like a heavy equipment like dozers into there that give us a lot of, uh, bolster our strength and ability to cut a lot of line in quickly. Uh, ballpark uh, immediately threatened is about approximately 100 right now. The community of Sawmill evacuated Wednesday. First responders gave new evacuation warnings yesterday near Wofford Heights and ranch from Rancho Rio Road East to Wofford Boulevard. And again, we have a new evacuation warning today. And this time it is in Keysville, south from the intersection of Black Gulch Road and Forest Route 26, South 06 and east to Highway 155. And again, this path of construction is continuing as this fire is growing rapidly. The Kern County Fire Department says it is just 5% contained at this time. We'll have even more updates for you coming up to Nano 17 News at 5. In the Isabella Highlands, Moses Small, 17 News. And a reminder, one of the easiest ways to be prepared for potential wildfires and other disasters like earthquakes is to sign up for alerts from Kern County Emergency Services. Just go to readykern.com. There you can look up recent incidents and sign up to receive text alerts directly to your phone. And you don't need us to tell you this, but the French fires contributing to the smoky conditions here in the valley. Combined with larger wildfires burning up north, the skies continue to be filled with particulate matter, triggering a public health alert. The Valley Air Pollution Control District issued the warning Monday, saying it will stay in place until the smoke clears. People, especially those with respiratory conditions, are being urged to stay indoors and reduce exposure to particulate matter emissions. All right, let's check in with Kevin now. I know you've been watching the progress of this fire, and it really took off this morning, Kev. Yeah, and this is a time lapse uh, just in the last hour, and it shows you the progression this morning as this fire really started to ignite. And you can see the flames there, and it just really overran this hillside really quick. As it got a little more oxygen, you can see it just really erupted. Now, um, again, we are watching this because we are still seeing pretty good progression. And I'm going to ask Melissa if we can take the weather computer full, kind of throw in her for a loop here, but it'll give you a better idea of what this looks like right now. And you can see this is a live picture. It updates every seven seconds. This is the Edison camera, a camera looking uh, just southwest at the fire line. Now, all indications are this fire has been moving kind of in a northerly direction. You can see the fire retardant there at the top of the trees trying to protect the hill in which this camera sits. These camera networks were installed just for this reason, so that they could see fire start, so they could see fire progression if it did happen in some of these very dense areas and uh, this again updates every seven seconds now in current conditions up near Lake Isabella 75 degrees 43 on the dew point 32 percent on the humidity and the winds are light out of the north but again there's so much vegetation with this fire that it is a lot of fuel to burn here's a look at our winds currently right now and uh, the surface smoke that is being generated by this and you can see the purple area 
That is where the thickest of the smoke is right now. And you can see a lot of that smoke. Uh, to the west is Bakersfield. To the east is the Lake Isabella area. Here's the forecast for the remainder of the day for the Lake Isabella area. The air quality alert and warning still in place for all of Kern County. It did not expire. And overall, today expecting lower 90s. That will all depend on just how thick that smoke gets. And then by 10 o'clock tonight, we'll be right near 73. We'll